What is going on everyone? Josh from Floss Fitness here and I am here to teach you how to do the overhead tricep extension and how to do it properly. This is the way I get the best contraction for my tricep and find I can develop the most muscle. So we're gonna jump right into it. So first and foremost is rope placement. So for me, I find it's important to have the rope at my head level or just above my head. If it's too low, it's gonna be awkward and you're gonna be forced to go up. Some people do do this variation. You can see my business partner Kyle doing here. I find this doesn't get as good of a contraction. My elbows really flare out and I'm not able to hit the long head of my tricep as well. So I like this position just above my head. I'm about six foot one, six foot two. I like it right at the top. The goal for this is I'm not necessarily going up or down. I want it to be pushing out in this motion really to work that tricep. So now a big portion of it is how to get it off with the weight being heavy. So you're gonna wanna grab two hands, thumbs up, put your butt tight to this wall here or this metal thing. And then from here, I push off. And you can see I'm pushing my abs here to do it safely. Pushing my abs, elbows to my head. Now, I want my elbows as close as I can. The more they flare out, the less tricep I'm gonna be getting, okay? So as close as you can. Now, like I said, you'll see some people do this. I'm not getting a great contraction. So the trick is to drop your chest, drop everything down from the arm, the head comes down, and extend from that tricep. Woo! This is how you're gonna be feeling it, developing more muscle. So from here, ropes together, push out and apart. In, out and apart. In, out and apart. You can see my legs are staggered. I got a nice grip here. Oh, and that tricep pushing out. In, out. It's not overly complicated. It's just super important. You're really getting that contraction all the way through and that twist, working that tricep, making sure you're getting that whole horseshoe involved. That's how you're gonna feel it the best. Now my business partner Kyle is gonna show you some common mistakes. Make sure you listen to these because you wanna be making these, taking away from the motion and minimizing the muscle you can put on. And before we jump into the common mistakes, first link in the description is a completely free form guide with all the descriptions, all the pictures, just a cool personal trainer in your pocket. Whenever you have questions about any exercise in the gym, pull it out, we'll take care of that. Once again, it is free, so take advantage of that. So first thing first, basically it's the way you set up. A lot of times people say you should have both feet together, but I find, especially when you're trying to load up on weight, and you're trying to do this exercise, no matter how strong your core is, it's really hard to get a proper contraction. So we're doing four sets of eight to 12 reps here, and we like to leverage forward on one foot, okay? So you don't wanna just use one foot throughout. So for the first set, we're gonna lean forward, and then the second set, we're gonna get a nice little stance here, and this is the best way to test the triceps. Number two is range of motion. So a lot of times people will probably toss this down as far as they can go, and then they'll just do one of these bad boys and just Go like this, okay? You're really not gonna be doing much for your triceps, especially this is more of an isolation exercise for the long head of the triceps. And number three, as Josh was saying in the um, description beforehand, you guys wanna make sure that you're actually, just like a tricep push down, you're rotating outwards, okay? So a lot of times you see people just overload and then they just push forward. Now this isn't inherently wrong, but you'll get way more out of it once you go out like this and get a nice little turn out within the triceps, okay? Last but not least, a little bonus. You wanna keep your elbows nice and tight to your head except for when you turn it outwards, okay? So a lot of times people will just go like this, start pulling like this, and that's gonna be a lot more on the shoulder. So hopefully this makes sense for you guys. It's a very simple exercise, but very effective for growing your triceps and getting as much muscle as possible. Great isolation exercise. If you are looking for an online coach, someone to develop the perfect workout routine customized for you, as well as just help with your macronutrient intake to get you guys to the next level, Third link in the description will take care of you and we'll see you later. Peace.